Iran's state news agency says a Western hostage held in Lebanon could soon be released. Syrian army sources have indicated it may be the Belfast teacher Brian Keenan. Mr. Keenan was kidnapped four years ago while working as an English teacher at the American University in Beirut. Recently, there have been intensive efforts by the Irish government to get him freed. His sisters say they're not raising their hopes too high. We have been down this road so many times over the last four years, and I wouldn't get too optimistic. I think there maybe is a feeling somebody's going to come out. And as Brenda says, as long as it's someone, uh, we'd be happy with that. The Northern Ireland Secretary Peter Brook has set himself a limit of three weeks to achieve all party talks between unionists and nationalists. Mr Brook's initiative has run into two problems, whether to involve Dublin in the negotiations and a shortage of time. I think if I hadn't made a statement by the time the House rose, I, I think eyebrows would be raised as to whether I actually would be ever making one. Three people died when their light aircraft crashed into the garden of a house at Cranfield in Bedfordshire. The Piper Cherokee hit an outhouse as the pilot was trying to land at a nearby airfield. It had been taking part in a race. The victims are thought to be from the London area. No one underground was injured. The cause of the crash is not yet known. Football, England's World Cup squad, arrive home this morning. They finished their campaign in fourth place after losing 2-1 to Italy. The host took the lead through a rare error by goalkeeper Peter Shilton. Baggio nipping in to steal the ball away. Scilacci laying it back for Baggio to score. But England again showed their ability to come back. David Platt scoring with a superb header ten minutes from time. But when Paul Parker brought down Scilacci in the box, it was all over. The forward converted his sixth goal of the competition. Martina Navratilova has become the first woman to win the Wimbledon singles title nine times. She beat fellow American Zena Garrison in straight sets, 6-4, 6-1. Like Pat Cash three years ago, she ran into the crowd to thank her friends. The 33-year-old player vowed to return next year to defend her title. That's it for now. We'll have more news later.